Hello, welcome back to my channel, Mel Stampin' Gallery. I'm Melanie, and today it is time for another mystery envelope. The gals and I over at the Inspiration Collaboration Design Team get together once a month and do what we call a mystery envelope. One person is in charge of sending out some supplies to each of us with some instructions of how to use them. And this month it was Dawn's turn, and she sent these six by six papers that are from Stampin' Up and she said hello friends it's time to make some Christmas cards use the supplies included in this envelope to create a festive set of cards you may use any stamps dies embossing folders embellishments and cardstock you want from your stash have fun and I can't wait to see what you create from Dawn so she sent these six by six papers like I said, and I, they're from the collection called Iconic Celebrations, and of course, like all our pa um, designer series papers, they are double-sided. So these are the ones she sent, and I think I might bring in um, some of the 6 by 6 papers from the Take a Bow um, collection from the current Stampin' Up! mini catalog to create a couple of cards and I know I want to use the reindeer fun stamp and die set I got this a little while ago and I have been so anxious to use it so I think that will be perfect with these papers to make a couple of Christmas cards for you so stay tuned and we will get started so today I will be making two cards, so I like to start with an 8.5 by 11 piece of uh, Whisper White cardstock, and I take and I score that first at four and a quarter, and then turn it to five and a half, and then cut it in two, and now I have two perfectly scored card bases for my cards. Uh, flipping through the Take a Bow collection to find the um, the DSP that I like, and I like this little red polka dot, so I'm just trimming that down to fit on my card front. So that would be four and four by five and a quarter, and I like to leave that little white border around the edges, as you can see there. But I like to slip just a little bit of the green, the garden green. Um, behind it actually I think I made that as the card front so that piece will be at five and a half by four and a quarter so that will be the full card front for our card and now I have the two pieces that I need for both cards and there you I'm showing you it's four and a quarter by five and a half now I'm going to take the reindeer head from the uh, reindeer fun die set and I there are three pieces for that so I'm going to use really espresso crumb cake and basic beige for the three parts for the reindeer head and I'm going to make three of them for the card front so I'm just putting it through my little big shot <laughs> isn't that little thing so cute it fits perfectly on my desk now I want to do um, the wreath, so I'll need three of those as well, and I am using the garden green to coordinate with the um, the card front, to co coordinate with the other papers that I've used. And then of course they need the little bows, so I did cut out the, the dice that has the tiny little bows that go with it, and I did cut those out in real red, and now I'm just using my um, liquid glue, my Barely Art glue, to uh, construct all three of those reindeer head. They are, um, I use the dark color for the back, the basic beige for the middle part, and the crumb cake for the front. Isn't, isn't that so cute? Look how cute those are. And then we're going to adhere the little bow with just a dot of glue and and I put a little glue on the back, on the front of the wreath there so I can slip the little reindeer head right inside the wreath. How adorable is that? 
Then I decided to use some of this gold textured paper and cut out the um, string of lights that um, are included in that die set. Now we'll take the strip of white that goes across the top and the three um, reindeer go there. And I think you'll see me stamp, yes, the Merry Christmas and I'm using the garden green to stamp the Merry Christmas on the front of the card. So I just want to take my foam mat to stamp on, just gently, gently tap in the ink pad. <laughs> If you're not careful, you will get a little bit of the ink on there, so make sure you wipe that up with a cloth or something. And give that a second to absorb into the paper, and then I will adhere this all together again with my Barely Art Glue. Put that first one in the center, and then I will put the other two around the sides. And as you can see, I've got the string of lights adhered down below the paper. And that should do it for that card. Isn't that so cute? All right, on to the next card. For this card, I wanted to make more of a wintry scene and I am still using the dies from the Reindeer Fun die set. And the paper that I'm using is um, Misty Moonlight. And there you see that DSP I'm using is the one that Dawn sent us. So now you see I'm using some shimmery white embossing paste. I wanted to add a little shimmer and shine to this because like I said, it's going to be a wintry scene. And to apply it, I'm just using my fingertip because I wanted to get it just on those uh, branches. All right, and so you wanna make sure, you can use a palette knife. You wanna make sure you clean off the palette knife right away. And then I also did some on uh, the torn pieces of white cardstock. Now I'm going to add the same in that misty moonlight color, stamp to the bottom, and then I want to use that uh, die set, and I'm going to stamp, or the stamp set, <laughs> I'm going to stamp that in the early espresso, and again, just gently tapping because our stamp pads are very, very juicy, so don't push down too hard. And then I'm stamping that on the basic beige. I will get um, my alcohol markers. You can see there I'm getting the blendables from Stampin' Up, and I'm using the pecan pie and the light and the dark. There's lots of different ways you can color, but what I like to do is I like to start with my lightest color first, and just go over the whole image at once and then I'll come back in with the dark shade and uh, shade in the dark areas where I think they might there might be some shadow and I've sped this way up so you don't have to watch the whole thing but then after I do the dark and put in the shadow to kind of erase that and blend it all out I'll come back with the lightest color and go over the whole thing again and that just really helps to blend it all together. Now I'm going to do the little tree. I wanted to have that little tree there, so I'm going to stamp it on the white cardstock. But I didn't want it to be all the same color, so that's why I'm using my markers directly onto the stamp. So you see I'm starting with the garden green to do the, um, the pine boughs. And I'm coming in with my early espresso marker to do the stem, or the trunk, and then just a little bit of the yellow at the top. That might be crushed curry for the star. And then I'll stamp that and then take that over to my little die cutting machine and die cut those pieces out. And now it's just time for assembly. I've got three of those torn pieces of white cardstock that I um, put the embossing paste on. So I'm just assembling that together and I like to use my liquid glue for things like that so I can slide it into place before it dries, and then to adhere the whole thing to the card front. I'm using my tape runner that you can see there. And for the little deer in the scene, I'm going to use the dimensionals to pop that up. Uh, because of all the embossing paste, 
in the torn edges, it already does have some dimension. And if I try to adhere that down flat, it wouldn't lay too flat. So we're going to pop that up with the dimensionals and the same thing with the little Christmas tree. I just love the softness and the serenity that this card has, the feel that it has. I thought I wanted to add a little snowflake up to the top there, so I went in my stash and had that snowflake die and some glitter paper, and I just cut that out and adhered that to the top. Then we'll just add a few little sparkle gems that I'll pick up with my pickup tool around the card just to finish it off a little bit. And I think that will about do it. All right, I'm going to clear this mat out of the way, and I'll bring in the other they were made with the Reindeer Fun photopolymer stamp set and the coordinating die cut set to go along with that. And I will have all the links listed down below for all the products that I used in this video. So please be sure to go and check those out. And don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And don't forget, check out that playlist right up here in the corner so you can see what all the other gals in the Inspiration Collaboration Design Team have created. So until next time, thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.